Hello, I'm Sarah of Communication Liberation and um, I'm going to level with you. I'm having a bit of a bad hair day today. I mean, what is going on with this? Um, actually, maybe it's been a bad hair week and um, on days like this, it's uh, extra challenging to do these videos because of that very strong wish to, that natural wish to make a, a good first impression. And on YouTube, you know, you, you've got, well, probably a maximum of 30 seconds before you start losing people. I may have lost some people already. Um, so yeah, it's very natural, this wish to, to want to make a good impression. And um, I guess in the work that I do with people, I notice that often this, this thought, I have to make a good first impression, uh, really ramps up the, the pressure in speaking situations and um, and of course this this pressure increases the likelihood of um, more disfluency for the vast majority of people that's the case and so you know in therapy we look at lots of different ways possible ways of reducing some of that sense of pressure and I just wanted to share a, a couple of small things with you today so around the the question of first impressions so uh, one little exercise you might want to try is just, just going, next time you go out in public, uh, just taking a look around at the people around you and, um, you know, without any conversation, just this is entirely non-verbal, but just, just checking people out and, and noticing that um, instant response that you get. So um, that's going to be either, put very simply, it's going to be like, dislike or neutral and you know this doesn't seem very PC um, but if we're if we're really honest with ourselves that you know that initial first impression there's going to be one of those three responses and that's a very kind of natural human thing um, and then of course you know we we can um, uh, use our judgment and um, come to different conclusions about people and, and all of that. But I'm just talking about that that kind of knee-jerk reaction. And, and just to notice how those people, um, they're not doing anything. They're just, they're just being. And, but nevertheless, you find yourself having, having that response. Um, so that's one interesting exercise to notice. And, and you know, to realise that the same thing is happening when people look at you. Um, they'll be having that same response regardless of um, anything that you try to do. Um, but I could I can hear some of you maybe saying, "Oh yes, but uh, what about when when we start to talk? What about that?" And um, so I'd invite you to remember back to um, the last time you met someone who made a good first impression on you and just to reflect on um yeah what what was it what was it about that meeting what was it about that person that um created that good first impression and um yeah it can be some interesting things that come out of that ref reflection um but also um there's something that uh, that Byron Katie has said that I, I think is interesting is um just to notice um, or to remember back to times when you've met someone who was trying really, really hard to make a good impression on you and what that was like being on the receiving end of that. And um, yeah, chances are it didn't feel too good. So um, yeah, so that's another, another kind of bit of food for thought that I wanted to share with you really. So um, I'm wondering, have I made a good first impression or not? Uh, oh. um, if I have, then um, please do come over to my website, www.communicationliberation.co.uk and find out more about what I do there. Um, or you can visit my Facebook page, which is Communication Liberation on Facebook. And um, maybe see you there. Okay, bye for now.